Hey you guys. It's just, I need to tie my hands because I always try to use them. <clears throat> hey what's up you guys welcome back welcome back to my channel but if you're new welcome to my channel my name is cassie i post videos about anything that i want and but lately i have been posting a lot of bookish content including this video today so today's video is actually going to be one i haven't done before i haven't done something like this but i thought it would be fun if we went on this journey together first of all excuse the fact that i have like no makeup on my chin anymore because i've been wearing a mask all day and i did just eat dinner so yeah anyway so i wanted to, to do a video that i haven't done on my channel because i thought it would be fun to go on the journey together um so basically i want to read a book the book that i'm going to be reading let me just say first is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. And I mean, need I say more? This book just came out as a movie, like wanna say the beginning of this year, maybe even December, I don't remember, but it's new. It just got released. I believe it's on, um, I don't know which one, actually which, what it's on, is it on Amazon or TV or Netflix? I don't know where you can watch it, but I know you can watch it we will figure that out together. Um, but I wanted to read the book first before I watch the movie. Um, because you know how usually people are like, oh, the book is always better and blah, 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 stuff. Which I'm one of those people, I agree that the book is always better than the movie. Um, so I want to put that to the test. I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want to know what was going to happen. Because if, I'm, if I know what's going to happen and I'm reading the book, I'm just not as interested so yes we're gonna read this book i'm gonna take you on my journey i'm gonna you know fill you in with my thoughts as i'm reading it um and yeah I'll let you know like where i'm at what i'm thinking if i'm loving it, if i'm not enjoying it if i'm gonna dnf it whatever i hear nothing but great things about this book so i'm very excited to read it the trailer for the movie is just like something that's 100% up my alley so I'm very excited and I hope there's some really exciting sexual content up in here um that's honestly really why I why I read romance books the tea the tea anyways so I wanted to take you guys on my journey with me to do reading the book and then watching the movie and then giving us giving our thoughts at the end or in the process um so yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed or you're not new and you're still not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'm like asking you, what are you waiting for? It's right there or right there. Just hit the subscribe, one of those down there. Um, hit the like button if you enjoy bookish content. I will be sure to release more um, of these give it a thumbs up and let's get into the video i'm gonna start reading this book and i'll check in with you guys to kind of give you the general synopsis and all that stuff of what this book is supposed to entail so yeah okay i just started reading the book i finished the first chapter and honestly judging it super soon but it's starting off kind of boring um it's a lot of character building and set building i understand that but like nothing has caught my attention yet i guess that's what i'm trying to say but i thought i'd come on and tell you guys what this book is about if you live under a rock and haven't heard of it <sighs> it's basically um told by the perspective of lucy hutton which is the main girl and the the guy the love interest i guess his name is joshua of course every love interest in a romance is named josh or joshua um anyways they work together at the same publishing house because um i guess 
they were going out of business. They worked as separate ones, but they were each going out of business. So they merged together and now they are assistants to the co-founders or co-CEOs. Um, so they hate each other. <laughs> Hence the name of the book, The Hating Game. They absolutely hate each other. They don't get along. And um, that's pretty much, I guess, what this book is about. From the back, it says that they um, are up for a promotion, but only one of them can get it. So I think it's kind of going to be like them trying to sabotage each other and then falling in love in the process. Some shit like that. Because um, it is a romance book, so... <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to read as much as I can tonight. I am tired, so who knows if I'll read a lot, but um, I'll keep you posted. I also wanted to mention that this might be spoil, like a spoiler filled. So if you don't want to be spoiled, if you haven't read the book, I would not watch this video. Okay, you've been warned. So, okay, I will check back later. Double juice. should we say I don't want to say girl or guy so either either love interest refers to each other by their full names because usually it's like like for instance his name is Joshua but obviously the nickname for Joshua is Josh and her name is Lucy and her full name is Lucinda but he doesn't call her Lucy he calls her Lucinda and she hates it and that's usually how it goes it's like me I go by Cassie, but my name is Cassandra. So it's like, if I hated Cassandra, I don't. But if I hated it, it's like, if a guy that, you know, I think is hot or whatever calls me by that name, I think I would like it. I would find it very attractive, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but that's what's happening right now. He refers to her by her full name. Um, but nothing has happened, really. I'm like... A little bit into the third chapter so not that much into it but sorry that's my dog Andres pop thanks um nothing has happened they're just really kind of just building the dynamic between each other and that's it so I think this might be my last update unless something exciting happens which I doubt it um then I'll update you guys, but I think this is going to be my last update. It's like about to be 9 p.m. and I'm just going to read until I'm tired. And this is like a really bad angle for me. So, yeah. Hey guys, so sorry if you can hear the shower. My husband's showering and I'm laying in bed. And I'm not going to get up for this update. <laughs> so I read more of the hating game i am like 20 percent into the book and i'm starting to like it it had a slow start for me but um a lot of it is taking place only in the workplace so um they kind of took a minute to like build that um scenario and the environment and um like the dynamic and stuff but homeboy is like i want to say i'm getting like ocd vibes or i don't know what else because he always wears a shirt like a specific color shirt or like a specific pattern shirt on a specific day and she like knows his pattern so she's like today is 
striped shirt like they started chapter like that or they sh they started uh um like the next paragraph with like he's wearing a cream color shirt he's wearing a you know striped shirt he's wearing a blue shirt like so that's how she's like identifying but which gives me the vibes that she obviously pays attention to him and is interested in him because i'm gonna tell you right now i don't know what the hell i even wore yesterday let alone someone else so you have to care about somebody at a level to like know that i wanted to say something else about this book um i like that she is not like of your typical main character because she doesn't um like she's not like that timid shy um you know kind of doesn't speak her mind type of no she like stands up to him and she's very spicy and like lets him know what's up um but it's already getting like super frisky because she had a dream about him a naughty dream about him and then she goes to work the next day and she like can't stop thinking about it and she tells him about the dream but she doesn't say that it was him so that was funny because that's my husband's phone because um he was all getting all like excited about it even though he knew or he didn't know it was about him anyways point being i'm starting to like it a lot i am on i'm about to start chapter six so i have like this much so i have a lot um but i'm starting to like it so yeah We'll see. There's not really much to report. Like I said, it's a lot of like character building. We know that she and him are going to, um, against each other for the promotion already. So she um, suggested something for team building. She suggested that they go to like this retreat and like do team building activities and shit like that. And he like really sabotaged that and like changed the plans of the team building and now they're going to be paintball shooting and she's going to be on his team so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm liking it a lot i don't really know that much i just know a little bit of their dynamic and things like oh yeah actually something that i thought was like really interesting and i think we'll probably see later on in the book he she took a picture of like his planner like she stole a like glimpse of his planner she like made a copy of it and she noticed that there's like certain like sick symbols and like check marks and tallies and like x's on certain days for certain things and he's like oh, she's thinking like what are these for so, well they got in an argument and after the argument she saw that he put a tally on his um planner on his desk and she's like hmm that's why there's tallies because he tallies every time they get an argument so now when they were talking about like the dream and he got excited he did something to his planner but she doesn't know what so i think each thing is gonna mean something and we're gonna find out down the line but yeah i just thought that was something interesting to note but i'm just gonna read now because i don't think you guys want to hear me talk and i don't blame you so Okay, so excuse my hair because I look crazy, but I'm reading some more and okay, I'm like smiling like an idiot. Joshua for 100% Loki, Loki has a thing for her. Like just the way he's acting and the things that he's doing and how he's talking to her and how interested he is in her life. It's like if you hate me so much why are you so involved why are you so interested in what i'm doing and who i'm dating and okay if i didn't already say this which i think i did so you can't get mad at me because i'm warning you again but i will be spoiling the book because i'm talking about the book as i'm reading it <sighs> sorry and sorry if you can hear my husband snoring but he kissed her so he offered her a ride to her date 
and he was like really invested in like finding out you know who she's going on a date with but she wasn't letting him know and she you know doesn't have a car right now because her car's in the shop whatever unimportant well she was gonna take a cab and he's like no you're not like i'll give you a ride whatever and she's like i guess they hate each other mind you like that's why it's called the hating game they they hate each other they're you know going against each other for a job position so i mean they're not the bestest of friends so for him to offer her a ride is really weird and she thought that too but she's like fuck it like who am i to turn on the ride and he quote unquote supposedly was also going to the same bar that she was meeting this guy at um to watch a game that's what's his excuse but anyways so he's like we're going to the same place like i'll give you a ride to the bar so <laughs> he gives her a ride to the bar or they're on their way they're going they're on the 10th floor so they're going down to the garage level and he hits he does literally my biggest fear he hits the emergency button is that what it's called the emergency button the like stop um button on the elevator that makes the elevator stop and like so the elevator stopped in the middle of like its travel and he picks her up and like because she's super tiny that's why he calls her shortcake and he's like super tall and so he like picks her up and like like props her onto the railing and starts kissing her very passionately very very mind you like there has been no like real flirting no real like this is just him coming out of nowhere kissing her and this is the same day that she told him about that steamy dream but he doesn't even know that was about him so what motivated him to want to kiss her also he said he was testing a theory what theory what are you doing? like you're so i'm very intrigued by him because he something's going on we don't know obviously yet but something's going on because he's acting very very calculated um so yeah he kissed her and then she you know was like super awkward so she ended up going to the bar and met that guy and um she had a good time with him but then the next day she got a bouquet of flowers and it said something like you're always beautiful or something like that and i'm convinced that they're from joshua she thinks it's from the guy that she had a date with because she did text him thank you and he just said i had a great time with you so she could be thanking him for the date and he's just not like putting two and two together you know what i'm saying i don't know i think it's joshua because now they're on their way to the paintball like the um the office um team building and he made her sit with him obviously in the front like he's very interested in this girl and he hates this guy this guy works with them too that she went on a date with it's like his last day and he's like hating on their relationship and so he makes her sit with him because they're both in charge of the team building thing and um he asks her like so how are your flowers doing how would he know how her flowers are doing if he's not the one that sent them to her you know what i'm saying so i put two two together i'm like oh he was 100 sent them to her but she didn't even realize that she's just like why do you know so much about my life like you're just stalker pretty much like leave me alone at this point i think she's at a point where she's like don't kiss me don't touch me like leave me alone if you like i don't know what your you know what your what your mindset is at but leave me the fuck alone but yeah i just wanted to come in here and say that and i think it's so cute usually i hate i cringe at some nicknames that these men give these women in these romance books um like baby girl or like 
I've just heard some really weird ones. I've read a lot of romance and I've heard some really, really fucking weird ones. So, oh my God, he's naked back there, sorry. So, I am surprised that I like what he calls her. Her family is like farmers. They farm strawberries and she's short. So he called, like, she's a really short girl. Like, she's five feet, which literally me. Like, I'm five one. So I, I'm, I'm short. I'm a short shit as well. But he calls her shortcake, like strawberry shortcake. So he's always calling her shortcake. And I think it's cute. I don't know why. Just because of the relationship they have. Like, he's just making fun of her. And that's just, like, the relationship. And I like it. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I'm 100% for like a little teasing in like flirting like I love that I love to see like people can have fun and just like be a little teasing towards each other and not like take it too far and I feel like they're not taking it too far they just you know hate each other right now but really they're flirting it's 100% flirting and actually there's a part where she goes to work after he kissed her so he like she took a day off and now she's back at work so it's like a friday i think the day of the um the day of the event whatever anyways it doesn't matter point being is point being is that she they're like okay can we just like put our weapons away for today and just like not bully and prank each other and like hate each other today so i thought it was so fucking cute when um what they did was <laughs> they're taking like their imaginary weapons like out like she pretends to take her gun out of her her like hip and he like takes his gun out of his holster and places it on the table and she takes a knife out of her like shoe and then she's like all your weapons and he like reaches down under her and she's pointing under his desk and he reaches under his desk and grabs i forgot what it was like a, i don't even know what it was he takes a gun out of his ankle holster so i just thought it was that just that like things like that i think that's so cute because it's like you're pull, like you're playing and you feel comfortable enough to be like goofy and like quirky and like you know playful like that you don't do that with people you hate i'm sorry you just don't like it just reminds me of like my dynamic with my mans and like how you can be so playful and goofy and just have a good time and it's like that's exactly the vibe that i get from them so anyways i think i'm just looking too into this but i'm really liking it so far because i like that it's not super heavy on the like hating each other it's you know it's a office you know hatred i guess like an office dynamic so you can't really be super disrespectful to each other because you know hr and all that stuff so they're just enough to like let each other know that mm, i don't fuck with you but also like playful enough to be like okay there's definitely something a brew in here so yeah i just really am liking it so far i'm on page 98 um i still have a lot to go i will not be finishing this tonight but i just like want to keep reading because i'm really enjoying their like their um dialogue together just listening listening to them interact and he's so mysterious so it's like i don't know anything about him and I need to because we we'll only get her perspective. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's only her perspective perspective in this whole book. You don't get to see his, just what she tells you about him. So it's like you don't really get to read his mind and where he's at, which I really do enjoy that from some books. But so far, this has my attention. And I like the mysteriousness of him because we're going to find out why he is the way he is, you know? Okay, this might be my last check-in unless something really exciting happens and i have to tell you guys this might be my last check-in so so it is currently monday um a week after i have started feeling feeling less than a week actually because i think i started filming on tuesday 
February 1st or 2nd. Don't remember. Anyways, it is Monday now, February 7th. And I know I look a little sweaty. It's actually my moisturizer. I just got out the shower. Because after last night, I needed it. I needed a cleanse my mind and my soul and my emotions um i'm being a bit dramatic but i finished the hating game yesterday both the book and the movie and i am so confused like yesterday i felt some type of way yesterday i was very strung out on my emotions and i was gonna film this part yesterday but i'm like i'm too emotional like i'm too like in the moment that i'm gonna give it an unfair rating i think so let me sleep on it and then we can pick up where we left off so i stopped checking in with you guys because um i think it was like the half maybe less than the halfway mark but i stopped checking in with you guys um because i just started getting like distracted and forgetting that i was filming because i was so like i needed to finish like i was in i was determined and i wanted to finish it and i was enjoying it like i was really much enjoying it so it's like let me just enjoy it okay so my thoughts i yesterday i rated this book a five star like as soon as i finished i'm like oh, that's 100 percent a five fucking star book like i absolutely loved it i wanted to finish it so badly yesterday like i think i had about 67 percent left when i started yesterday so i finished it all in the morning well not in the morning but throughout the day the first half of my day i finished it and then i'm like I want to watch the movie so i watched the movie right after i finished it so not only am i high on these emotions and i loved absolutely loved the book i watched the movie right after and for those of you who have watched the movie you understand my disappointment you will understand my disappointment the i know that people say like the movie is always better than i mean the book is always better than the movie and it's like an old cliche and people know that already like okay shut up but like they 100% change the plot of the book to the movie. Like, the, and I understand why they did that because they wanted to make it more, I guess, dramatic and suspenseful. Like there needs to be some kind of like falling out to fall back in, if you know what I'm saying. And the book did not have that. Like the book had a bit of like little falls outs here and there, but it was nothing as dramatic as the one that's in the movie in my opinion i just felt like i enjoyed the process that the book had the book was definitely a slow burn romance because if you don't know the premise the premise i'm guess i'm gonna share it again i don't know if i did in my intro but we'll do it again basically it takes lucy hutton and a joshua temple templeman and they are colleagues they work together um there was a merger in their publishing oops their publishing companies he worked for bexley she worked for gammon so they were both going bankrupt or out of business what's the word like i guess out of business yeah out of business um so they combined forces and so everyone who worked at bexley and gammon joined forces um so he was the like i don't want to say assistant i forget what their position is honestly um co no oh yeah they're executives uh, executive assistants but they basically do everything for the ceos like they're literally mini ceos because their ceos are literally like now i don't want to say useless but they just don't do shit so they're basically co-ceos mini co-ceos for the company so they bump heads a lot because she's like this quirky like cute tiny like colorful little girl and he not little girl but like you know woman and he's like this very uptight very like you know by the book very clean cut like no colorful like very cut and dry type of man so 
they don't get along they've never gotten along since they met each other so you know it's kind of like that's why it's called the Hayden game because they play games with each other like they have a staring game they have a copycat game like they just do things to get under each other's skin on purpose well there is a um position opening for them to be potentially potentially hired for that position because they both qualify and they both enter an application so now they're like I'm going to beat you, I'm going to beat you. Now, there's that competition behind it. Well, something happens in, um, I don't know if I really want to, like, say, does it say it? It doesn't say what happens, but they cross paths a couple times. And it's like, she doesn't know whether to trust him. He doesn't know whether to trust her. Or actually, it's her. It's mainly her. She doesn't know when to trust him, and he whether to trust him if he's being genuine with his feelings or if you know he's playing another game um so i just i honestly loved it so much i want to say a few things there's another character in here named danny i won't say too much this might be spoilery so if you don't want to know anything about the book i would just not watch this at all like at all but if you don't care and you don't mind me giving you like a little bit of hints um I have to, to in order to speak about the movie and like what I think about it so anyways um there's this character named Danny and he is like someone that they work together but he was he's quitting or whatever so she goes on a date with him and I feel like the Danny in the book was like not as nerdy and dorky and like klutzy as the one in the movie and I just felt like they really they really outplayed him to be this just like dorky like it was just like that's she would not be attracted to someone like that like and I know she used him at first but it's like if you want Josh to be jealous about something about a man it needs to be a man at his like not level but like a little bit more like admire uh, like attractive I guess the word I'm trying to say like some kind of attraction but the whole thing is that like he's not the nice guy like he's not the nice guy he never you know will be the nice guy so he needs to make sure that she knows what she's getting herself into and all that stuff anyways the process was just amazing in the book like the romance and everything that ensued i just felt like the movie felt so rushed and so like mixed like the parts were so mixed matched and like the romance where the romance really took like the peak if you know what the peak me i mean is the peak was not where it was supposed to be and i feel like that is important because like in the book i was just waiting for them i'm like i cannot wait till they get it on and it's like they should have took it from the book and let us wait that extra step because i feel like that made you want it a little bit more if you know what i'm saying all in all i mean the movie wasn't bad it just wasn't the book in my eyes the premise was there sure all that stuff but like it was a whole different timeline um i will rate the book i said i was gonna give it five stars yesterday like i was literally so adamant that i was gonna give it five stars because i f loved it like i loved i loved it but i think i'm gonna go with four point five stars um only because i feel like there were some irrelevant things that they like brought up like her parents and like their dynamic like i just thought that that was kind of like they nothing really happened there so it was like what was the point of bringing it up also um her fr a friend that she lost due to like um job cuts and stuff from the company nothing happened there so what was the point of bringing that up um it was kind of just like okay useless information i'm kind of over it um so i'm gonna give it five stars in, on goodreads just because like i have to because goodreads doesn't let me put fucking 0.5 but it is technically a five star read for me i did like it i do have problems with it just those small problems but honestly the romance was fucking there i loved their dynamic together it at first was a little bit like bored i don't know if i mentioned it i was like i'm kind of like not into it yet like maybe this point i was just like i'm not really that into it yet um but 
he i mean but it it needed to be there because it was building their relationship and and their connection and if it didn't have that it would have felt too insta lovey if you know what i mean if you know what i mean but read this book if you love romance if you love you know um co-worker or what's it called romance in the job there's a trope for that i forget what it's called but romance at work romance i don't know anyways <laughs> forbidden romance work forbidden i don't know what it's called and um grumpy i don't know if it's really grumpy sunshine they both hate each other so they're kind of grumpy grumpy um and the spice level i would say it's like three like you're not really getting super visuals but you're getting visuals like you're getting enough that like you're excited and it's like nice like you enjoy this extra the little spice that's in here um but yeah it was really good i really enjoyed it i would highly recommend the book um you could watch the movie first and then get with the book and honestly feel like you're watching two different things i feel like that's how i would have felt the only reason i waited was because i didn't want to give anything away for me to know what happens at the end you'll know what happens at the end you know because if you are but if you don't care about that watch the movie then read the book whatever order you want to do it but i highly 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 recommend that you read this book and i loved it so oh and i rate the movie like three stars like three stars it was good it was a cute little rom-com if it didn't have a book attached to it I probably would have liked it more just because i wouldn't have read the book and i wouldn't have cared i wouldn't have known so it was cute but again like i said too fast paced timeline was jumbled and i just cannot cannot get with that i just don't like it so yeah but that is going to be it for this video you guys um i am going to film another video before this i mean before this yeah because i'm gonna go in time back in time after this so you will see me in this outfit and this face um for another video but that's because i can't be bothered to put on makeup and i really need to film this video because it's my january wrap up so anyways um thank you guys for watching this video if you liked this kind of video like more vloggy the process of the book and all that stuff give me a thumbs up let me know what other movies you want i mean what other movies well i mean yeah what other movies you want me to watch that have books if i haven't already watched it or read it um let me know if you want to see me read any, any other books if you have any recommendations for romance books even fantasy i'm actually gonna get started in reading um a court of a court of mist and fury which is the a court of mist and fury which is the second book to the Akatar season I mean season series so I'll be reading that next um and yeah I'm very much excited so look out for my next video I know I'm doing a lot of like book videos but that's what I'm loving right now like I'm loving it it's keeping me motivated to want to film more videos so it's like why stop and if nobody watches it nobody watches it but I can always go back and be like oh yeah that book was fire I need to read that again you know what I'm saying it's always nice to go back i always do these for myself and if people watch it and people enjoy it thumbs up for me but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe it's not that hard it's 100 free just do it just do it and leave a comment up below and i will see you guys hopefully next sunday bye